Hello everyone, this is K. Savita from Department of English in KSR College of Art and Science for Women. Unit 3 consists of three topics, the philosophy of composition which was written by Edgar Allan Poe and I have a dream which was written by Martin Luther King and the Gettysburg which was written by Abraham Lincoln. Edgar Allan Poe was an American writer, poet, author and a literary critic who is best known for his poetry and short stories. He was born on January 19, 1809 in Boston. He was a father of short story in English literature and he was, he was most well known for his dark and gothic style of writing. He died in the year October 7, 1849 in Baltimore. The philosophy of composition presents Poe's view on how to compose a poem, a short story and another literary work. He advises writers to do the following. He uh, First, we have to plan a project to its conclusion before writing, beginning to write. The writer must know how to how a literary work is to be aimed before its tone and presenting its details. Decide the effect which you work to have an on, on reader. Begin the writing work as you progress. Keep in mind the conclusion on which you decided. Keep the literary work short enough for the reader to complete in one sitting. If the work, if the length of the work requires the reader to put it down and come back to read another day, the affairs of everyday life divert the reader's attention and diminish the effect of literary work after he resumes to reading it. Work hard to perfect the writing. It is a fallacy that inspiration and intuition plays a significant role in the creative process. A great work requires style and sweat. The next work is I Have a Dream, Martin Luther King, an American Baptist minister, activist and humanitarian, leader of the American African Civil Rights Movement. He is best known for his role in the advancement of civil rights using non-violent and civil disobedience. One of the greatest orators in American history, he was died in the year 40. He was uh, got Nobel Award in the year October 14, 1964. He received Nobel Prize for combating racial in inequality through nonviolence. I have a dream is a famous speech delivered by Martin Luther King during the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom on August 28, 1963. Equality and injustice. These are the and the following tips are um, the following tips are uh, included in this speech. Equality and injustice. Here, the speak about unfulfilled promises of equality and justice for African American and emphasize the importance of these ideals in United States. And the second one is desegregation. He calls for an end to segregation, discrimination, urging for equal rights and opportunity for in individuals regardless of their skin color. Nonviolent protest. Here, King advocates for nonviolent residents and expresses his belief that loud peaceful protests can bring about the positive change. The next one is end to protest brutality. He highlights the need to address the brutality and the violence inflicted in African Americans in their quest for freedom and equal rights. The next one is Dream of Brotherhood. Here, King shares his vision of future where people different races, backgrounds can coexist harmoniously, united by love, equality and mutual respect. These main points reflect King's passionate advocates for civil rights, racial inequality and social injustice in the United States. The next one is Gettysburg Address, which was written by Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, widely regarded as one of the greatest president in American history, he was born on February 12, 1809, in a small log cabin in Kentucky. He was the 16th president of the United States from 1861 until his assassination in 1865. Lincoln renowned his leadership during the tumultuous times in American history, the Civil War. He got a Hall of Fame is a famous award and his notable works are Gettysburg Address. Gettysburg Address, in this essay, he, he gave many points. Some of the points are uh, I narrate here. Uh, honoring the fallen, Lincoln begins acknowledging the significance of occasion which was dedicated to cemetery in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, for soldiers who died in the Battle of Gettysburg. The next one is Union and Equality. 
emphasize the importance of preserving the union and reiterates the principles of equality and freedom for all mentions that um, the american resolution revolution was fought to establish a new nation founded on these ideals perseverance and sacrifice recognizes the sacrifice of soldiers who fought and died in the battle and acknowledges their contribution to the cause of liberty and the next renowned dedication lincoln calls for a renowned dedication to the principles of the declaration of independence and the unfinished task of upholding the equality and democracy and the next one is unity and resolve the speech concludes with a call for unity determination to ensure the sacrifices of the fallen soldiers were not in vain overall the gettysburg address is concise and powerful speech encapsulates values and ideals of american democracy and has become an iconic part of american history thank you for watching